in this session we will look at all the navigation related shortcuts when we say navigate we are switching or navigating between different excel or other files so for example sometimes i am required to switch between the pdf or word file and come back to excel file in this case let's do that so my shortcut in this case is alt and tab so you can see i press alt tab once and i can see the window indicating different open files in this case now using the tab key i have i'm holding on to the alt key and using the tab key now i can go to different files i am now going to the pdf file once i have opened the pdf file i can simply use alt tab and switch between the two files some of you may definitely know this shortcut let's look at the second one now which is control tab which allows you to move across all the open excel workbooks so you can see that control and the tab key allows me to shuffle between all the excel open workbooks now control and page up allows you to go to the previous worksheet when we say previous that means the worksheets which are located on the left hand side so control and page up you can note allows us to go to the worksheets on the left hand side control and page down on the other hand will take us to the worksheets on the right hand side so now you can note that using control and page down i can go to the worksheets on the right hand side i am coming back to our navigation shortcuts worksheet now control and the home key takes you to the home cell generally home cell is cell a1 so control and home will take you to cell a1 on that worksheet we are going in a top down way so we started with different excel and non excel files then we came to different excel files or workbooks then we came to different worksheets within a workbook now we are looking at browsing inside the worksheet so control and home key takes you to cell a1 now this depends on whether your first column or first row are hidden or not for example if i have my first column hidden control home key will take me to cell b1 because column a has been hidden so hiding affects the control home keyboard shortcut control end will take you to the last cell or an intersection of last used column and last used row so for example in this case if i press control end you can note that it takes me to the last cell because that is an intersection of the last column and last row which are visible in this case now control and the arrow keys allow me to navigate across a range of cells so for example in this case this entire range of cells consists of all of these cells here which are contiguous or adjacent there is a gap between row 9 and this range in the form of row 10 there is nothing written there so you can now check that if you are in cell d19 control up will take you to the last filled cell upwards now if i use control up once more it will take me to the next filled cell control up it takes me to the last cell now i am using control down once again so control down takes me to the next filled cell now there is a gap in between so let's say if there is a gap in between i have added some rows and created a gap control down will now take me to this cell which is the next filled cell if i am now navigating across a range it will take me to the last filled cell in this range so it depends whether you are navigating across a range or across empty sheet if it is a range control and the arrow keys will take you to the last filled cell in that direction in the direction of the arrow that you press 
However, if you are working on an empty sheet, control and the arrow keys will take you to the last empty cell. So control right takes you to the last empty cell, which you can see it takes you to the last column. Control down takes you to the last column and last row. Control left and control up takes you back to cell A1. So there is a difference when you use control and the arrow keys either on an empty worksheet or an empty range or whether you use it on a range of cells which are contiguous. Now control and the arrow keys also work inside a cell. How do you go inside a cell? Whenever you press F2 on a cell you can note that the cursor has now started blinking and now you can edit this cell. Control and the left key inside this cell allows you to jump the group of words or even cell references. So now you can note that using the control left and control right I am easily able to navigate across the entire cell. This is very useful when you are navigating across long formulas. But it's necessary that you note that you are in cell edit mode in this case. Control home also works here which takes you to the beginning of the cell. Control end also works here which takes you to the end of the cell. You can note that this is very useful when you work across long formulas. Now you can note that control and left key allows you to jump the cells pretty quickly or jump the references pretty quickly. Control end takes you to the end of the formula. Control home takes you to the beginning of the formula. Of course, I have pressed F2 and I am right now in cell edit mode. So I hope all of that allows you to navigate quickly across various financial models.